the Faculty of Human, Social, and Political Science at the University of Cambridge was created in 2011 out of a merger of the Faculty of Archaeology and Anthropology and the Faculty of Politics, Psychology, Sociology and International Studies. Many Cambridge HSPS students go on to work in politics and government in the United Kingdom, United States, Canada, Australia, and China. Other graduate destinations include the United Nations, World Bank, World Economic Forum, and various NGO groups. The faculty houses three departments, Department of Archaeology and Anthropology, Department of Politics and International Studies and Department of Sociology. Each of these departments has a worldwide reputation for teaching and research, and the undergraduate curriculum Tripos is designed to serve both students who have a clear disciplinary commitment at the time of application as well as those who want a broader multidisciplinary degree. Students with a passion for politics can take advantage of links with such departments as economics and history. Those with interests in sociology can draw on anthropology and geography, while those dedicated to pursuing an archaeology career can specialize from the first year or combine this with biological and social anthropology. Undergraduate students study several disciplines in their first year and then specialize in one or two disciplines in their second and third years. Clearly specified tracks archaeology, biological anthropology, politics, psychology, social anthropology, sociology, or a combination of disciplines ensure that students graduate with appropriate intellectual and professional skills. Assyriology and Egyptology are also possible specializations, within the archaeology track. At the postgraduate level, there are established one-year MPhils in archaeology including Assyriology and Egyptology, Biological Anthropology, International Studies, Social Anthropology and Sociology. A new MPhil in politics was launched in 2008. PhD students conduct research within a wide range of subjects within archaeology, Assyriology, Egyptology, biological and social anthropology, politics and international studies and sociology. The faculty is currently spread across several sites. The SPS Library, now affiliated with the University Library, and the Department of Sociology are on Free School Lane at the new museum's site. The Department of Politics and International Studies is currently located at the Allison Richard Building on the Sidgwick site. The Department of Archaeology and Anthropology is spread across the Downing site, New Museums site, and Henry Wellcome Building. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Selected members of the faculty. Topic University and College Teaching Offices In the HSPS faculty Graham Barker, Disney Professor of Archaeology Henrietta Moore, William Wise Professor of Anthropology John Thompson, Sociology Patrick Bart, Sociology Andrew Gamble, Government, Politics and Political Economy Christopher Hill, International Studies Juliet Mitchell, Gender Studies David Runciman, Politics Glenn Rangwala, Specializing in Middle East Politics John Dunn, Political Theory Goran Thurborn, Social Theory Silvana Tomazelli Ruth Skur Members of the faculty elsewhere in the university Colin Renfrew, MacDonald Institute for Archaeological Research Gareth Stedman Jones, History Political Thought Alan McFarlane, Anthropology Quentin Skinner, Christ's College History of Political Thought William Brown, Economics Marilyn Strathan, Anthropology Lord Runciman, Trinity College Simon Baron Cohen, Experimental Psychology Sandra Dawson, Management Studies currently Chair of the Faculty Board Topic teaching Tripos BA An archaeology and anthropology Tripos has been taught at Cambridge for more than a century. 
a politics, psychology and sociology tripos previously known as Social and Political Sciences, SPS has been running at Cambridge University, in some form, since 1970. From 2013, the PPS and A&A &A triposes will be replaced by the Human, Social, and Political Sciences Tripos HSPS, which will offer students the opportunity to explore a wide range of multidisciplinary options before specializing in one or two subjects, or to specialize from the first year, according to their interests. Postgraduate M. Phil, PhD, the faculty teaches seven master's programs in politics, international studies, sociology, social anthropology, social and developmental psychology, archaeology including Assyriology and Egyptology, biological anthropology. The faculty also has around 200 students studying for doctorates at any one time. Many graduate students go on to work in politics and government in the United Kingdom, United States, Canada, Australia, and China. Other graduate destinations include the United Nations, World Bank, World Economic Forum, and various NGO groups. Applications <laughs> 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 The number of applicants per place for politics, psychology and sociology has traditionally been one of the highest in Cambridge. On average, there are six applications per offered place, though this ratio is better at some colleges such as Murray Edwards. Colleges with particular teaching strength in human, social, and political science include Selwyn, Gonville and Keyes, Queens, Kings, Sydney Sussex, Corpus Christi and Trinity. Numbers of applications for the new HSPSBA course remain high across all colleges. Typical offers for the course are A asterisk double A at A level, or 40 to 42 points out of 45 with 776 or 777 at higher level in the International Baccalaureate. As of 2008 2009, the MPhil in Social and Developmental Psychology received 66 applications, with seven starting the course in October 2008. The MPhil in Modern Society and Global Transformations saw 99 applicants, with 26 starting the course in October 2008. Notable alumni Patrick Barkham, journalist Carrie Blackburn, BBC producer Jimmy Carr, comedian Joe Cox, former Labour MP for Batley and Spen, deceased Dr Stella Creasy, Labour MP for Walthamstow Natalie Evans, leader of the House of Lords Johan Hari, journalist Naomi Harris, Academy Award-nominated actress Jim Knight, Labour MP and Minister for Schools and Learners John Healy, Labour MP and Minister for Communities and Local Government Gautam Mulcahy, novelist and Financial Times journalist Chris Naylor, CEO of London Borough of Barking and Dagenham Richard Osman, television presenter, producer and director Helen Oyemi, novelist and playwright Maddie Savage, BBC TV and radio reporter Ben Schott, writer and photographer Galen Strawson, analytic philosopher and literary critic Christopher Steele, former British intelligence officer and author of The Steele Dossier Tilda Swinton, Oscar-winning actress